My last point is that if we do find um, we need more than those adaptations allow to address problems, then we should remain technology agnostic and focus on um, delivering a solution. And by technology agnostic, I mean uh, not just across different um, software, for example, but also including humans. We are the competing um, information processing system, if you like. So let's say uh, we decide we want to put greater limits on um, surveillance of the public, and that's that's a, a hot issue. Um, uh, surveillance is old, but AI enables you to do more of it and more than most people might think was uh, socially desirable. But if we are going to limit surveillance, I don't think that should be a limitation on AI as such. It should be a, a limitation on surveillance. Um, so you, you need to come back from AI and say, yes, that's amplified something we have a concern about, but what's a solution that um, isn't focused on AI as such, but is focused on the problem? Um, so just to repeat, I, I don't think we need a law of AI. We need to do the hard work um, of thinking about whether existing regulation and, <clears throat> and market adaptation is going to be sufficient. Um, and, and that's a detailed ongoing problem that um, will be focused on for decades. Um, but just trying to fix the problems now with a law in advance won't work. And back to the steam age, um, we couldn't have anticipated the need for railway safety at the time steam was developed. Uh, that came much later. And I think it, that is exactly how our AI will play out. There will be issues, but we, we don't know what they are at, the, at this moment.